Thanks for tuning into the channel. I've been dying to do this review. It's of the Works Hydro Shot Portable Pressure Washer. I've had this for about four weeks now. Uh, the team down at work sent this to me, so thank you very, very much, Nikki. I'm going to demonstrate exactly how this works, but first of all, I want to show you the components because this is an essential tool to my arsenal now for mountain biking because it just saves so much hassle. I'll show you why. The HydroShock comes with a couple of things that I just want to point out before we get into the accessories. You have your hose attachment at the bottom there, and that will fit any sort of standard garden hose, but also the hose that is supplied with the kit. You have a safety catch here at the back. The reason that's there is you can't operate the trigger until you press that in and then squeeze the trigger. But once you have that trigger pressed, you can release it and that works nice and easily. And on the top there, you have a H and an L, high and low. So when you have it in H, which is the high water flow setting, it really does pump it out quite fast. So dependent on how much water you have available is really gonna depend on how much uh, you're going to use so whether that's high or low and I'll demonstrate that as we get into the meat of this when I actually clean my bike. So in every package you'll have supplied a 20 volt battery it does the business really well now one thing I would say is if you want to do really big jobs then you're probably going to have to go and buy a spare or maybe a couple but for those little jobs where you really need that portable side to it it will get the job done and it will do it well. What I like in particular is you have a test button at the back and that will just indicate via the free LEDs what your battery state is and that's just nice to know before you go somewhere because last thing you want is to get there and you haven't got enough juice in the battery to get anything done. Also comes supplied with the charger and that just slides on like so and because I've got the UK variant you know I'm running 240 volts but it is a little bit of a slow charge but if you prepare well do it overnight do it well in advance of whatever you need it for, you're not gonna be let down by that. So just be aware it does take a little while to charge up from completely empty. So supplied in the box is all this stuff. It's nice and neat in the box. However, I don't like keeping boxes, so I got rid of that, but you get this nice net and you can put it all in there, fits well, does up with the bungee at the top there. And I leave this in the van and the mesh net's just quite handy because the water drips away from it rather than gathering in the bottom and uh, becoming like stale water and starts to smell and ruin the stuff inside there. So we'll go for all the bits and pieces inside because it comes with some pretty good stuff. First of all, the detergent bottle. Everything fits with like this bayonet style fitting. So it's nice and secure when it's on. I've got the detergent in there already. So this is going to be ready to rock and roll very shortly to show you. But this, it functions just as well as my car chair when it comes to getting that detergent on whatever I'm cleaning and I'll demonstrate that. Next is the soft bristle brush. So it does have a water flow to it. So once it's connected and you're operating the pressure washer itself, it has these little holes inside here so that when you are cleaning, you're gonna be able to put the water flow on there and just be able to rub it and rigorously clean it a lot better than if it didn't have that. So that's quite a cool feature and this works well. I use it a majority of the time that I'm trying to clean my bike. A collapsible bucket handle, a little bit of neoprene on there so that it's comfortable when you've got the actual water in there. But as you rotate it around, it actually goes into a decent sized bucket, which I think is pretty cool. So if you've got a water source available where you are, rather than carrying some around with you, that could be quite handy. Comes with a decent length hose. It feels quite premium as well. The things that I really like about this, it comes with a filter on there. So if you're putting this in a stream or a pond or wherever your water source is coming from, it's going to just help protect what goes through the pressure washer itself because it's going to filter out the nasties and make sure that you just get clean or as clean a water as you can get going through the hose and the system uh, of the pressure washer. It comes with a float so if you want to set that somewhere down here it's not going to sink to the bottom and then pick up all the rubbish from the water source that you're using and just like a garden hose you can attach it and it's just as simple as clicking it on and then when you pull it off pull it down and then it detaches. And the feature that may draw you to this is this bottle adapter. So I'll demonstrate this because that's the best way to really explain it, but this will not be available in the UK until August. It will be stocked in Halfords as the first major store. And then of course, like everything, it will probably end up on Amazon and all the other websites and should be fairly cheap because it is just a plastic attachment with a bit of rubber tubing. But this works extremely well if you wanna use it out of like a Coke bottle 
or something like that. So I'll demonstrate that in full action, but you are gonna be limited by the amount of cleaning you can do because it sucks the water up pretty quick. And I'll demonstrate that on both settings so you can get an idea of exactly what you're gonna get from that. This is the long lance. It doesn't come with every kit, so if that's something that you do want, just be sure to get the right one. This is the attachment that does all the cleaning. So once you've got it set to where you want, it does a really great job and it has various different settings on there which I'll show you close up in a second but if you want to remove that you just pull back on this and it detaches quite easily so if there was more accessories that you need that hasn't come as part of the package you can buy them individually and it's just great to know that you can put them in and it will work as you expect but I'll put that back in and you can see that clicks in nice and easily now on the short lance that you see here it's got a multitude of different settings, you can see that by the front there. But marking it out nice and easily on the side, you can see that you get a 15 degree spray there. You can rotate it around left or right, go to 25, go to 40. That gives you like a sprinkle more than anything. Not much power in that on the high or low, but if you need to sprinkle something, water some flowers, that would be the perfect setting. And then you have zero, which gives you that ultimate jet blast power that you're going to get out of the pressure washer. So all those settings are going to be more than enough to get the job done. So first of all, I want to demonstrate this in the low setting with the bottle attached. It's full to the brim. It gets the job done. It's not going to last forever, but let's time it. Just see how much we can get out of it. it takes a little bit for the water to go up and then you get the power. how quickly the water goes down even in the low setting okay so that's it come to an end one minute 20 is worth on the low setting and that's not too bad for a one liter bottle of coke so gonna refill this try it on the high set and see how long that lasts but you'll notice there's a remarkable difference between the low and the high setting Filled the coke bottle back up to the top, gonna operate this on the high setting. You can't do that until you press the trigger and you actually press that uh, selection switch up the top there. So what I'll do, the timer has been reset and we'll try it and see how long it lasts. Here we go. Different feeling. You can see how much quicker that goes down. And that's the end of the bottle. So stopping the stopwatch, 52 seconds. You can see that's quite a difference between the low and the high. But if this is all you want to take with you, it's going to get the job done. But that is quite an impressive bit of kit, and I think you'll agree. That is pretty good for something that's just operated by this little battery here. Now what I want to do, I've rinsed it off already, so I've got most of the grit and grime off. Uh, so that when I do the deeper clean, I'm not going to end up scratching the paintwork on the bike. But I'm going to attach the detergent bottle. And this is pretty good, this. Put the filter end in the jerry can, 25 litres in here, more than enough to do a couple of bikes. And put it to the bottom, and then attach the hose. As simple as that. I'll wait till you see how this works. Will take a little while to suck up the water initially. And look at that. Try to get the air out of the hose. And once it's done that, it flows really well. Both sides. That's pretty impressive, isn't it? Right, what I'm going to do is let that soak in and then show you the next attachment that I do some of the major cleaning with. That is just amazing. Now I've let that soak in for a little while now, so I'm gonna put the soft brush on, show you both settings of how that works, and then if I needed to, I'd go into the deeper detailed clean using cloths and my sponges and everything else to get right in there, but just for the sake of the product itself, I wanna show you how this performs on both settings. That's on the low. So the water comes out quite well. And 
because it's soft bristles, you can get in all those nooks and crannies. It does it with ease. On the high setting, bigger water flow. But if I'm honest, I'll probably stick to the low to conserve water anyway. Like that. You still get a decent amount out and you'll get the job done just as well as you would on high using this particular accessory. Now, for the sake of time, I'm not going to demonstrate exactly how I clean my bike, that's another thing, but I'm going to stick the long lance on and show you how well that works in all the different settings when you have more water available, because with that jerry can, I'm not really bothered, because I know it's going to do more than enough to get this clean, so there's enough to go around to do a couple of bikes there, let me show you. So with the long lance, connect it up, and let's get to it. That's the low setting which I've demonstrated with the bottle. However, I've got enough water so let's get it on high. And it becomes a fantastic pressure washer. You have to agree, this is pretty good. I'm going to zoom in, let you see just how powerful this is. So I've just zoomed into the chain ring there. But look at the power you get. Absolutely incredible. Back to low. Hi. Now the one thing I do want to demonstrate the different settings with the jerry can attached. So here's 15 degrees. There's zero, so that's direct jet. Move it to the sprinkle. 40. Twenty-five. And fifteen. Fifteen is my favourite. Gets the job done really fast. Well that just about covers it really, that is the Works HydroShot portable power washer. It is, it's just amazing. £150, you can get it cheaper if you don't want all the accessories. It does the job well. It's got so much power, up to five times the garden hose. And I just use it for mountain biking, but you can use this for anything. Absolutely anything. So uh, if you like the video, rate, comment subscribe subscribe there's plenty more good stuff coming see you for the next one